Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Redefine Horizons, and in this video, I am going to show you how to update a crusty uh, LinkedIn profile. Uh, and the profile that we are updating today is my crusty LinkedIn profile. So, this has been on my list of things to do for a while, um, for about a year, and I'm finally getting to it. Um, so, if you don't know me uh, well, I'm a, I'm a pretty heavy user of LinkedIn. It's, it's definitely my favorite uh, social media network. Uh, I'm on Facebook and Twitter, but I don't use those nearly as much as I use LinkedIn. And uh, I'm pretty active on the platform, uh, but I just haven't done a lot of work on my, my personal profile for a while, and uh, it was time for an update. So I'm just going to walk you through um, a few of the updates. Uh, that I need to do today because uh, if you're like me and you've been on LinkedIn for a while you probably need to make some updates so um, I have just some notes here in markdown uh, of some things I want to do uh, today I want to update my featured posts add some recent projects uh, update my volunteer experience I'm not going to add recent articles today I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do that in a, in a second video um, I don't have my surveyor licenses on my LinkedIn profile which is a little bit crazy um, and then I'm, I'm going to add some skills. And it might be one or two other things that I do. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and walk through that. Now, the first thing I would tell you is uh, if you're going to update your LinkedIn profile, you probably need a new picture. Um, and you absolutely should have a picture for your LinkedIn profile. Uh, my business partner, Brian, was giving me a hard time because my LinkedIn profile photo was from about 20 years ago. And uh, he was like, that's totally cheating. So uh, he went and got new business portraits, Brian and I, and I updated my portrait. So now I look I look my actual age, um, which is depressing. But I went ahead and did that. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do was, um, I'm just going to kind of work this from top to bottom. I am going to make a small change here um, to my tagline. Um, we, we're doing more infrastructure work now than we were when I started the company five years ago. So this needs to just get updated uh, a little bit. So I'm going to say uh, land surveyor working hard to facilitate smooth real estate transactions. I'm going to say land development projects and large infrastructure projects in Central California and Western Nevada because we are doing more infrastructure now. Okay, so that, that's updated, so I'm just going to keep uh, working my way down. I am going to come back uh, at the end here that LinkedIn now gives premium members a, the ability to add a button, so I'll add a custom button there. Um, so I'm going to come down here. The next thing on my list was my feature posts. Some of these feature posts are, are pretty old. Um, so I've got some, some fairly older videos on here. Um, they, these videos probably need uh, an update. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete some of these uh, videos. Um, let's see. I'm probably not. We're, we're probably not doing a ton more uh, work for civil engineering companies. Uh, we found out that most civil engineering companies, large civil engineering companies, don't make fantastic clients. So I'm going to I'm going to prune some of that a little bit. Uh, these two are okay. I like these. Um, I'm going to get rid of these. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, okay, so uh, there's a fairly easy way. If you have a post on LinkedIn, there's a fairly easy way to add it to your feature post. So I'm just going to do that for a couple of mine. So you can just click the three dots and hit feature on top of profile. So I've got a couple of these that I'm going to do that for. Okay, so then when we come back to our feature post now, that should be updated. So let's see, yep, okay, so now I've got those other feature posts. Okay, so those are up to date now. <clears throat> All right, the activities, just a, an automated section. I'm not going to mess with anything that uh, up there. Um, 
I, I like my about section, uh, but I need to give that some thought. Uh, I may uh, want to tweak this a little bit just based on how our business has changed the last five years. But for now, I'm going to leave that. Uh, but this, I may work on that in my next video a little bit. Um, I don't need to change any of my uh, project experience. It would be nice to get a logo for that. Um, so I don't need to do that. So the next thing on my list, uh, I don't need, edu my education hasn't changed, uh, but I don't have my surveyor's licenses, which is a problem. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and add those uh, surveyor licenses. So we're going to add California licensed land surveyor. And this is uh, state of California. Okay. And oh man, I gotta go see when that was. Was uh, I think it was. Was it December two thousand and eight? I think. And uh, I'm just gonna put uh, December of. They don't really have an expiration date anymore, so I'm just gonna. Whoop. Put December uh, 2030. I'm not going to add any of those uh, credentials. I don't need to do that. <clears throat> so the skill I'm going to add here is land surveying. I have that listed as a skill. I can actually put 8489. That's my license number. Um, so I'll go ahead and save that. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to add another one here. So this is going to be um, Nevada land surveying license and state of Nevada. And that was, I think, two years after my California license. And my number is 2909, and I can associate that with land surveying as well. Okay, we'll save that. Okay, now I've got my land surveying licenses in there. Um, let me see if we can tweak this a little bit. Yeah, we can. And we can get the actual issuing agencies on these two. Let's try Bureau of Land Management. B, if I can spell it. Is it B? Yeah, Bureau of Land Management. Cool. That'll just give those the little icons there. Okay, so those are up to date. Uh, so my surveying licenses will show up now. I don't know if it will let you change the order of this. I don't think it does. That'd be nice if LinkedIn would let us do that, but it doesn't. It's okay. Okay, so the projects I've got on here are way out of date. Um, so I, I want to definitely want to update some of these. Um, and, I, and again, I don't think I don't think Link, LinkedIn lets you uh, let you change the order of these. But let's go ahead and add a couple. Um, so I've got 1,200 graphics drive Modesto is one of our projects. So we need a description here. Uh, I'm gonna say major redevelopment of an industrial. Parcel in the heart of Modesto, California. Services. I let's say the the services I provided on included an Alta survey, topographic survey. and a tentative parcel map. Okay, I did some other stuff on there, but so we can put on here Ulta surveys, land surveying, or land development for the skills, land surveying. We can put uh, subdivisions. Okay, and then I've got a picture we can upload for that, so you should always get uh, I should always do pictures. Okay, so I've got a picture of the actual Alta survey that we did. So I'll apply that and save it. OK, 
Okay, now I don't know, does that, I'm not sure where that drops in. If it drops in at the bottom of the top, we'll go ahead and do one more. Uh, so this is 9696 Sheldon Road in Elk Grove. Uh, this is um, Boundary and Topographic Survey to support the design and construction of a custom home just outside of Elk Grove, California. Okay, so we'll put topographic surveys and boundary surveys on there. And we've got a good aerial photo of this one, I think. Yep. Okay, now I've got two more I can add there that I'm going to add, but I won't, I won't make you guys watch me do that. Okay, so let's go back and see if those pop up now. All right, so if I go to show all projects, yep, they are now popping up. Um, I don't know how LinkedIn does the order here. It sure would be nice if, if you could change the order. Um, but I don't, I don't see an easy way to do that. But um, I did get some, I did get some current projects in there. I don't know why these say present. Let's see if we can edit those. These should not say present. Uh, so I can say I'm not working on those. So see, this is one of the things I needed to, to update. Okay, so that one doesn't say present. That might be how it's set in the order, guys, is it, it's doing that based on the date. So that kind of makes sense. So if I go back in here, and there's probably a spot, yeah, so we can add the dates here. So I'm going to say uh, we started this June of 2023. Okay, so it's just, it's sorting them based on the date. So that's cool. It's good that it does that. Let's go ahead and this one we started, let's say September. And finished it in October, let's say. All right, cool. That'll fix the, uh, the order that things were showing up in. So this is, I am not still working on this. This is way old. So I probably haven't touched this since 2014. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> All right, this is getting sorted a, a little better now. Um, you know, it'd be cool if I could come in and, and get some uh, some more project thumbnails here. So that that's something that I could work on. Um, I, don't, I don't have a lot of, of project thumbnails here. Um, and I may I may just come in and and uh, just get rid of some of these older projects um, and just have some projects with some thumbnails. So I will probably do that. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do was update my volunteer experience. The only thing I saw in here that needed to change was I am no longer serving on one of these committees. Uh, so uh, let's see the land use committee I, I was I am not on I, I only did that for a year so I want to fix that I just want to make sure that that experience is current okay all of my other volunteer experiences is, is good it's current there okay the other thing that I think the last thing I wanted to do was update my skills so I'm gonna go ahead and edit my skills here so I did kind of try and sort these a little bit. Um, so LinkedIn will let you sort them. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a skill here. Uh, so I'm gonna add some software. So I'm gonna add Trimble Business Center. And then I'm gonna add uh, QGIS. I'm going to add a Carlson survey. And then I'm going to add 
Linux CAD. Okay, so those are some software that I wanted to add. Um, then I'm going to add a couple programming languages. So I have Java on there, but I want to add, I'm doing more programming in Python now. Also going to add C sharp because I'm doing a little programming in C sharp. Okay, and then I've got um, Auto Lisp. Be curious if that shows up. Got, I don't know if this one will show up. I've got tkinter, which is the built-in GUI library for Python. Let's add that. Okay, and then uh, I had um, a couple of kind of more generic skills, project management, which I can't believe was not on my profile. So I want to add that. And um, I think that was it. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and uh, change the order here. So if you click on these three dots, you can reorder. <clears throat> and let's see, I want to make sure that all my programming stuff is together. All right, so I don't see him there yet. So let's go back in the new skills I don't see. We're going to come back in here and see if they show up. Yeah, I don't see where it's added them, so I'm not I'm not sure if they got to wait to get approved or what. Maybe they got to wait to get approved. So I'll have to reorder those later. So I'll have to put that on my list of things to do. All right, I think that was it, guys. Oh, I wanted to add that button. So I'm going to go ahead and I can add a custom button here because I'm a premium member. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to edit my custom button. I'm going to say visit my website. And I'll put in the URL to my website. Okay, and let's do a refresh there and see if that shows up. Uh, might not show up. Let's see. We want to view this. Let's try this. Let's see if that new button shows up. Yep, there's my custom button. Cool. So that showed up. Got my new posts. Got some of my new. Um, got some of my new projects showing up here, which I need to go clean up. And then, uh, all right. So I'm fairly happy. So there you go, guys. There's a there's an update to Krusty LinkedIn profile. So just to review um, some things I still need to do. We can just take some notes on that if you're following along. So I need to um, update my uh, bio. I want to uh, delete old projects. Um, let's see, was that it? I feel like there was a, oh, I want to update my publications. Okay, so that's stuff I still need to do. So all this stuff is done. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.